Hello to all and welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the spiritual advice reading for the collective, all or some astrological signs. This is a spiritual guidance message for those who are looking for guidance here on August 31st of 2022. So for this reading, I've been guided to the Spirit Animal Oracle deck, if I didn't say already, by Colette Baron reed And I'm going to be laying a circle spread. So dear Lord, Spirit Guides and Angels, please bless whoever needs to hear this information most with clearly defined messages regarding the energy of August 31st of 2022. Okay. So, right off the bat here at the beginning of the day, we have Spirit offering up the electrical eel spirit. Uh, they're saying, get up and bring your ideas to life. Uh, maybe you've been working on a hobby, gift, talent, skill, or have been thinking about planning a new direction for yourself. With this numerological number, uh, number 24 here, the two is about thoughts of a new path or direction, and the four is about the creation of a solid foundation. So if you've been bringing certain ideas, creative projects, marketing an item, doing something that you really truly fulfill, your ideas and projects here are coming to life. Some know this by the end of August because we've been talking about the end of August being a pivotal time for success. So we have two plus four here with the number 24 representing success, harmony, and victory. Now in the thoughts position of the circle spread during the day of August 31st, of 2022 we have the vulture spirit energy the realization that no efforts that one has made here has been have been wasted okay uh, the number 63 is about success so we're going two plus four is six which brings us to 63 and the number three is the holy trinity father son holy ghost so spirit has stepped in to help or is stepping in to bring the collective to the realization that all of your efforts have not been wasted you can now bring your ideas to life and if you are trust that spirit with the number 63 has been guiding you into this direction of success all along so there may be some recognizing that uh, your ideas are actually being born in this physical world maybe in connection to another or others and um it's kind of like wow you know all that hard work has come to an end because six plus three is nine in the thoughts position. So in the relationship sector, the circle spread, we have the rabbit spirit energy. So spirit saying, as you connect with and to another or others, you're going to feel the rabbit spirit energy that now is a very lucky time. All your efforts have not been wasted for there is the realization that your ideas are coming to life by the end of August of 2022. So in the creative aspects position, we have this beautiful owl spirit energy. Someone has been creating some form of wisdom and knowledge. And now there's this energy of seeing more clearly with the number 43 that you have created a foundation, you were led by spirit, and now a new doorway is opening for you. Now, four plus three, meaning seven to me, is also spirit saying, continue to bring your ideas to life uh, because uh, triumph in the number seven year of 2023 is going to come to those who have put your effort out there, who have brought their ideas to life. There's this clarity coming that nothing has been wasted and that now is indeed a lucky time. So in the actions position, we have the dog spirit energy. Be loyal to what you love, to who you are. Your sole purpose is what you were meant to come here and do that fulfills you day to day. So what is it you like to do as a child? What is it you've always wanted to learn about or do? Now is a great time in this numerological number six year of 2022 to come into connection with like-minded people, to do what you love and to recognize that your efforts are going to indeed lead you into the direction of a really, really lucky and clear realization here. 
So in the emotional aspects position, we have the giraffe spirit energy. Finally seeing the big picture. For some of you with the number 29 jumping out at me, you ha may have noticed this on the 29th, maybe the 30th. For others of you, you know, everybody's energy ebbs and flows differently. It could very well be by the 31st. You start to see the big picture of I brought my ideas to life. I see more clearly that nothing has been wasted. Therefore, in my actions position, I'm going to continue to be loyal to what it is that I love, right? Writing, drawing, painting, doing photography, pottery, poetry. Now in the subconscious position, we have the sandpiper spirit energy. So this has been a big message for the last couple few months and that's to remain playful, right? To push beyond any worries and fears, obstacles or challenges and move into a new path where you can bring your ideas to life. For whatever we create in this numerological number six year of 2022, it is set now to grow and prosper for the long term. So in the day-to-day -day aspects position, we have the grasshopper spirit energy. There we have that holy trinity with the number 30. Okay, we've got the 29th, the 30th. Okay, and um, if you are thinking about something that transpired yesterday, say today is the 31st of August, uh, Spirit is saying with the grasshopper spirit energy, take this leap of faith. Something is going to come to you. Some wisdom or knowledge is going to come and you're going to be able to bring some your ideas, your playfulness, your joy and happiness, what it is that is your soul's purpose to life and an offer is going to come and Spirit saying, take that leap of faith. We talked about that on the 29th and 30th video as well. Now in the inner strengths position, we have the pig spirit energy. So spirit is saying we're giving you the strength to the collective, all astrological signs on August 31st, to use your mind wisely. As a doorway opens, remain grounded. Nothing that you have experienced thus far in your life uh, has been as successful, joyful, and lucky as this opportunity right here we've been talking about this the whole month of august and august is a number eight month where there is a focus reflection and the realization of how we can now move into a new infinity symbol right so the infinity symbol is sometimes repeating old patterns behaviors or cycles but now recognizing that you can rise above into a new path so for some look at this if you have been working towards singing your own song with the canary spirit energy or doing something in relation to music we have a flute here the otter spirit is here to tell you you are never alone people are going to be drawn to the foundation that you are manifesting so be at home in who you are and know that slowly and steadily slow and steady wins the race surrender uh, to what spirit is bringing to you Okay, midday we have the rhino spirit and the flamingo spirit. So spirit saying you will overcome obstacles and challenges. Um, embrace this in-between moment. Clarity is coming in your creative aspects position and eventually an opportunity to take a leap of faith. So dive deep. Uh, get clear about what you are manifesting. Um, get excited about the process. Playful, right? And trust that life is indeed going to speed up. But Spirit's got your back and you've got to know your worth. It's time to clear out the clutter of worries and fears about the uh, opinions of others. Because this isn't their journey. This is yours. So by the end of August, going into September of 2022 for the collective, we have the Ant Spirit Energy and the Badger Spirit. So we have collaborating with another or others here. And Spirit's saying with the Badger Spirit Energy, be fearless and bold. Okay, take this leap of faith. It's a new path with the number one where you're connecting with a new person or group of people. And the number four, you're stepping into a foundation of doing what you love. Be at peace because spirit has a plan. Believe in yourself and be in the here and now. Okay, so I'm going to confirm and clarify with the Tarot of Dreams deck by Lee Burstyn. Now I like to confirm and clarify with a tarot deck because it helps me sometimes to um, specify. 
certain people, places, circumstances, situations, and or environments by which Spirit is helping for me to translate for the collective for August 31st of 2022. So yeah, uh, the 29th and 30th involved a lot of major arcana. So this is indeed a big time for all of us. And right in the center of the reading, we've got the major arcana, the star. Okay, so Spirit is saying we are helping the collective to bring your ideas to life. So there could be a realization on the 31st. For some, it was maybe the 24th, the 29th, or the 30th. But the point is, is Spirit's been listening to the collective's prayers. They've been acknowledging what the collective have been doing that they love. And now certain wishes are coming manifest. So like by the 31st, either you already know about this or you're waking up to some really good information on August 31st of 2022. So look at this in the thoughts position. There's this realization that, oh my gosh, nothing has been wasted because I have brought myself into this energy of the nine of pentacles. My wishes are coming true in the area of money and independence. Wow. So your ideas are coming to life and there's this beautiful realization that all of your hard work led you to this point. Now, this could be personal, personally or professionally. Now, we've got the Palace of Wands energies in the relationship sector down here. So this could represent a new or a change in the area of home, family, or business. Either way, Spirit saying in relation to another or others on August 31st, now is a lucky time. You could be moving to a new home, location. Uh, maybe you're just sharing your abundance and the realization of an opportunity here and you want to share it with others. I, like, I feel so lucky is what I'm hearing with the rabbit card. So in the creative aspects position, we've got the major arcana, the emperor, right below the star. So this is connecting with someone maybe who has Aries in their chart. This is connecting with someone who is in a leadership position. Someone who is building their empire or this is you, right? You're going to see more clearly the wishes. Uh, your wishes are coming true. Your ideas are coming to life. You are building your empire and you're thinking about greater abundance and independence. Now is a lucky time to make a change in the area of home, family, or business. There will be communication with a person or group of people. And you're going to be able to make a wish come true and build upon this new journey of wishes. Okay, so this has been a popular person as of late. Some of you may be a water sign or may be thinking of a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or they have that strongly in their chart. So Spirit's saying, be loyal to who and what you love with the number 19. Maybe you're a Pisces thinking about someone born on the 19th. Maybe this is your birthday, uh, but this is definitely um, being loyal to someone, whether they're a water sign or not, whose heart is open to assisting and guiding and caring and providing good news here. Wow. We do have like a father figure, grandfather figure, seeing more clearly um, that wishes are coming true and that now's a lucky time to build upon home or family. Maybe even to build a home is what I'm feeling with that palace of wands energies in the relationship sector. So here we have seeing the big picture, and the big picture is or was with the Five of Wands energies. The fact that I was conflicted about what action steps I wanted to take. My heart is open, and wishes are coming true, and I'm just um, a little confused at what is taking place here. There's, there's a lot of excitement here, but there's like spirit saying, just look at the big picture. Don't focus on the little things. Don't pick things apart or worry because that's going to bring away the energy of the sandpiper, right? This is a playful time. Do what you love. Keep your heart open. Pray to spirit for they are listening. They are helping you to create your empire and you will see more clearly this ace of coins. Oh my gosh. So we have 
a gift from the universe in the form of the ace of coins. Uh, this is a lump sum of money, a win or an inheritance happening close to August 31st of 2022. This could also be a new path that is set to grow and prosper. There's a realization of that for those who are getting beyond the worries and fears of what action steps to take. For those who are stepping back and looking at the big picture uh, during the 31st, trusting that we have a kind and supportive energy here in the actions position. Be loyal to what you love and an offer will come. A wish will come true. It'll change things in the area of home and family and spirit saying absolutely take a leap of faith. Some may be looking back again at the 30th and saying I'm glad I took a leap of faith because uh, my wishes are coming true. I'm building an empire and I see more clearly that nothing has been wasted, even though it was a difficult journey. So the leap of faith is showing up with the two of cups. Oh my goodness. So we have a, a soul connection, a soul purpose. Uh, whatever or whoever you are wishing for, spirit is helping you to acknowledge an opportunity when it comes. Now, it's interesting to me. We have two swans and we have two cups. We have someone who may be connected with an, an Aquarius and an Aries in the past, and they became really conflicted about how can I just create good and, and stability and move into a future that I can celebrate because I know now is a lucky time. Um, if there is someone coming in here and you feel like it could be okay, um, we talked about, I think on the 29th and 30th in the emotional aspects position, that now is the time to connect with a soulmate. So a soulmate could be a person, a friend, relation to a business, again, the right uh, manager, supervisor, and or um, a love connection. So spirit saying we're helping to bring your ideas to life, to create an empire, to connect with someone here, maybe with the emperor who's in a leadership position, father figure, grandfather figure, for a uh, soul connection, a Soul connection is helping to bring this wish come true. Yeah, so some could be receiving an inheritance, a win, a lump sum of money, or again, uh, your ideas are leading you down a path of great abundance. Which brings this back. Okay, so in the inner strengths position, we have the lover's energy. We have passion and excitement. I'm looking at one offer opportunity or two with the two of cups. Uh, I'm recognizing that my playful... Uh, uh, goals and plans are freeing me from indecision about uh, building my empire here. An offer is coming in that is meant to be. So it's going to feel like the right connection, circumstance, situation, or person. And spirit is saying, take that leap of faith. Now we do have the lover's card, the star card, and the king of cups. So a lot of passion. You may be thinking about maybe a Gemini. Um, and if that's the case, Spirit's saying use your mind wisely. Nothing has been wasted. I feel like maybe you want to share what you love with someone uh, who has Gemini in their chart. So I'm going to confirm and clarify these messages with a three-card spread using the same Tarot of Dreams deck. And we've got the Three of Swords. We've got the Six of Wands, popular card, and the Chariot, another popular card. Actually, the Three of Swords has been popular as well. So <laughs> this is about acknowledging heartache, pain, sadness, regret, worry, fear. Uh, maybe there was some sadness or heartache in relation to an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Sometimes the Page of Coins could be a younger Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, or there was a uh, sadness and heartache in relation to an offer of money in the past. That just wasn't enough here. But Spirit's trying to bring back the Palace of Cups energy into the lives of the collective, where you can kind of sit and wait and create until you decide on the direction you want to go. So it's about getting back into that energy of ebb and flow, trusting that spirit is trying to guide the collective into a beautiful new foundation where there will be a path of abundance. 
we have some who are yeah they're doing really well money's coming in here at the end of august going into september and now we have some that are a tad bit indecisive about what to do with their relationship so spirit is saying we're giving the collective the strength with the pig spirit energy to use your mind wisely right someone here your wishes are coming true you're receiving a lot of attention and recognition like we talked around the 29th or 30th of august and now there's going to be some form of temptation and passion so this is a uh, a lot about uh, waiting with the hanging man energy and looking at things from every perspective regarding marriages, commitments, and uh, partnerships, right? There is a strong message here with two major arcanas to maintain emotional balance as you set and meet goals moving forward. Yes, an old business organization or something that you've been working towards was a long and difficult path. But with the Ten of Swords energies, there's this realization that that path has ended. It ends because of an exciting or kind word or message coming with the Page of Cups energy. So someone here was feeling stuck or trapped in their circumstances, whether it was professional or personal. And now here comes this communication, maybe from a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or you are that energy. Yes. So in this particular deck, this is the opposite of the Rider Waite energy. This Knight of Coins is actually quick and unexpected communication that's bringing this feminine, passionate energy. It's like, oh my gosh, I'm so passionate because what I've been waiting for has come in and it's coming in rather quickly. We talked about surprises over the last couple few days for some, and we talked a lot about the Six of Wands. So some form of attention and recognition is coming as a result of one one's efforts in this numerological number six year of 2022, right around August, the end of August of 2022. So we have the four of cups. It's almost like our human nature is to look at this and go, wow, can I trust in this offer that has come? Look at this. One doorway or another is opening up. So we have two different uh, soul connections, two different directions. And someone here with the four of coins or pentacles energy that is fearing that they don't have enough in some way. We definitely have magicians, manipulation, but spirit saying what you are celebrating right now, what you are creating right now as you bring your ideas to life, uh, spirit's going to help to bring everything else this conflict regarding what action steps to take in a partnership or relationship spirit's going to help bring that full circle in a successful way so again we have um and i just saw this i think in the 29th to the 30th reading the ten of pentacles in the subconscious position so this is being served up with the high priestess the ability to reflect on what is happening here and to not take any action until you are clear yes there's an exciting realization for some when it comes to someone who's in a leadership position i just saw the king of pentacles uh virgo taurus capricorn and or this emperor energy uh, someone in a leadership position is coming in to make a wish come true and spirit saying take that leap of faith this beautiful new financial path will um, be something to celebrate in the area of home and family and all you need to do is continue to do what you love uh, look at the big picture of what's transpiring and if you are tempted use your mind wisely this is someone who's getting a lot of attention and of course along comes temptation so uh, yeah, going into the end of August 31st, we have the Five of Swords energies. This is inner conflict about that communication. Uh, in this case, swords are representing a business or organization to me. But again, for some, it could represent this Gemini energy up here with the Lover's card in the inner strengths position. Uh, Spirit's really trying to help the collective with this major arcana of the chariot to step beyond the obstacles of indecision about what action steps to take and to enjoy the ride. Some may be actually traveling towards you or you traveling towards another to receive uh, a wish come true. Success as a result of your ideas. Yeah, and then someone wants to share their information with family and friends as they research this new opportunity. There's like a lot of excitement and playfulness with the Knight of Cups energy. And then we have the Ten of Cups, a happily ever after. A reason to celebrate and an opportunity to leave worries and concerns of the past behind. Okay. 
So I'm going to close with a message from the Guardian Angel deck by Doreen Virtue. Remember throughout this video on August 31st, write down what it is you are hearing. And at the end of the video, ask yourself, why did I write this down? How does what I wrote down pertain to me at this point in my life? And what have I learned about myself because of what I wrote down? How can I move beyond temptation into the direction of my wishes? As my ideas come to, my, to life, I know that I'm going to remain loyal to what I love. I'm going to keep an open heart with very playful energy. And I'm going to take a leap of faith. Because eventually, I'm going to see this opportunity to create my empire very clearly. And in hindsight, we'll come to the realization that all of my hard work and spirit's assistance has, have led me, has led me to this very lucky time. Okay, so this has been a popular card as well. Uh, Spirit is saying with the nine of thought or swords, this is about not being able to sleep at night, right? Uh, you know, if you're working on something and you don't see the light, that's because Spirit wants to bring in an opportunity when it's least expected so that you can be surprised, right? The angels like to surprise us. So the card says, stop being so hard on yourself, first and foremost, and turn those thoughts towards the positive. <clears throat> Pardon me. There is no need to worry at this time, exclamation mark. Anticipating the worst at this time will not be helpful. So know that heaven will provide a solution. If you are experiencing sleepless nights or anxiety over some form of challenge in your life, release your worries and your problems to spirit. For it's a time of forgiveness and healing to forgive yourself and those around you for any mistakes of the past so that everyone can now move forward. Grieving is a normal part of life with that three of swords energies. Ask your angels or those you love to help you to move through the grieving process fairly quickly so that you can get back into the direction of a path towards joy. Spirit's trying to help with healing and to guide the collective into a joyful, and successful direction at this time so there's going to be uh, maybe in the beginning of September of 2022 uh, a need to claim your own personal power and spirit saying feel confident at this time as the angels are going to give you the strength here to say no when it's the right thing to do for yourself uh, for some the struggle may actually stem from unresolved inner conflict rather than conflict with those around you. So, but this is a time to uh, be a spokesperson or do something that is close to your heart that naturally comes to you if you haven't been already. For those of you who are speaking, the angels are now giving you the perfect words. Know that you will do brilliantly. Uh, you may be asked to be a mentor or know that now's the time to connect with like-minded people so that you can learn and research, practice, and hone your skills. Uh, there could be a situation here that involves someone who's very professional, but who also has a very positive attitude and fresh ideas, like this water energy, Pisces Cancer, or Scorpio. For this could be you, water sign. Um, and they're talking about ideas once again soul connections take a leap of faith when the clarity comes let me know thank you to those of you who do let me know that these messages have resonated for you down in the comment section below this video thank you for those uh should these messages have resonated for you and or you would just like your own personal energy read feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email which is josiek42 at gmail.com i offer four one half hour video readings and they are a one month three month six month or yearly reading and my price list will be in the box below this video. I am still offering the summer special which is a 15 minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try. So thank you so so very much for those likes, those shares and please right now click on subscribe. Uh, thank you to those of you who've attended the live Zoom casts on Wednesday and or the live YouTube podcasts on Thursdays both at noon U.S. Central Time. Thank you for those donations as well. Take care and...
God bless.